I already know exactly how this is gonna go. Some clown is gonna see this title, click on the video without even watching, go straight to the comments like, who are you to tell me if I like this game or not? I love this game. This is my favorite game of all time, you son of a bitch. All right, all right, all right, calm your tits. Let's get some stuff out of the way first, all right? It's depressing, but I have to keep saying this. It's okay if you disagree. It's okay if we have different opinions. In fact, leave your hate comment. I really don't care. Just don't expect me to come argue with you in the comment section, you keyboard warriors. Now, to the point. Falren is basically a combination of Overwatch and CSGO combined, which kind of reminds me of one of my ex-girlfriends, you know? Sounds good on paper, it might be fun in the beginning, but uh, you're gonna find the flaws real quick. Valorant is a game where one bullet to the head actually kills yes. for most guns. Now, this is satisfying and all until you're on the I receiving end. There's no way I don't hit it in the head. How the fuck are you gonna hit it in the body? Oh my god. How does he kill that fucking fast? My god. Look at how fast that guy's killing right now. Did he just turn on his hex? What the fuck? Also, you need to stand still to actually be accurate. Right? Standing still, right? Now, the abilities. Let's see what the devs said about it. They said, shooting matters. You don't kill with abilities. Abilities create tactical opportunities to take the right shots. Alright, well I could give you my unsalted opinion on this, but how about you look at somebody else's? I know I thought this shit was supposed to be way. utility, yeah, man. Uh, that me. looks yeah. like a little, a little bit more, dude. Like I that much exit. bigger, more. Another one. Bye. 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 <laughs> you don't kill with abilities. Abilities create opportunities. No. The entire character goes against exactly what was said the game would be. You see, in a game where you die in a split second, you need to have control of some sort. God, oh, what the f I can't do shit. It's because it's Killjoy. Oh, that's Thanks for the deal. You, 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 is there anything you can do when that Killjoy goes off? No. Anything? No. We want it to be critical to your positioning and thinking about a fight before you get into it, said Classic. Things like if you've got into a position, it really requires some sort of agent ability or utility use, rather than just swinging out there and taking a 50-50 in the game, kind of coming down to luck. Can I get a flashed human? Ugh. Volcano emphasizes how a player's positioning, ability usage, and mechanical skill combine to create something special. I'll tell you what this something special actually is, alright? It's the ability to make you rage beyond belief. Everybody's going crazy on this game. In fact, if you do a quick Google search, you can see a bunch of compilations of people going crazy on this game, alright? Here's a compilation of some annoying skills. How does he just run through my fucking slime? you can see some abilities are rather problematic but wait there's more the buy system is also flawed you only get money for kills and winning rounds which basically means that the losing team is going to go broke and not be able to buy a gun they're just going to lose and lose and lose <laughs> hey that's not fair cowboys couldn't afford cannons they couldn't afford station wagons either also, why are there 17 guns in the game if only a handful of them are actually viable? Could just be me. I don't know. 
Anyways, all the issues I've spoken about so far are when the game works. Could you imagine having bad ping? Pretty much everybody I know who has played Valorant has at some point said that they dislike it. But they all keep playing. Now if you look at the numbers, this actually checks out. 21.7 million players have jumped into at least one game of Valorant over the past 30 days. Based on the available data, this balances out at around 2 million active players per day. But why would people play a game that they don't enjoy? Well, it's because this game has been designed to be addictive. Did you ever check out the kill sounds? Yes. Try, bro. They want it to feel like an achievement. They want you to celebrate every kill whilst they get you hooked on these adrenaline rushes that you get from these clutch 1v1 moments. This reminds me of a game I used to play called Rainbow Six Siege. You're probably familiar, it's a similar game in the sense that it's team versus team. It also has permadeath so you don't respawn until the round is over. And this creates these adrenaline filled clutch 1v1 type moments that get you hooked on these type of games. The result? A bunch of people that hate the game, don't realize they're addicted adrenaline junkies, keep pointing out the game's flaws as they rage to the teammates, yet come back to play time and time again. Don't forget, you're here forever. I'm 17 hours in the game, right? It's been a roller coaster fucking emotion, okay? And I, 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 let's not beat around the bush. This game is a fucking snooze fest. It is. There's no athleticism. There's no violence, no speed, no momentum, no narrative to watch. Ten seconds left. It's just a bunch of and, and buddy hopping and everyone's walking. That's what it is. It's a snooze fest, but I'm addicted and it sucks. Now at this point, we're just making fun out of it. And believe it or not, right, me and Altus, we have our own course on how to stop playing Valorant if you ever want to and you're having problems. <laughs> we <We're> understand <laughs> it's a hard process to get through and we're more than willing to help anyone. All jokes aside though, everybody should ask themselves this question. Am I truly having fun? Because there's too many people raging yet they keep coming back to play. The f*** is Wait. happening! I don't know what is going on! I hate this Game. This is getting unhealthy, man. This stuff happens consistently worldwide. You can take my advice or leave it. I won't judge. Just know that at the end of the day, you're only fooling yourself. Everyone is stupid except me. Can you name any game that induces this amount of rage in people? There's something about this game, man. Take this object, but beware, it carries a terrible curse. Ooh, that's bad. But it comes with a free battle pass. That's good. The battle pass is also cursed. That's bad. But you get your choice of weapons. That's good. The weapons contain potassium benzoate. That's bad. Can I go now? Yep, here's your problem. Someone set this thing to evil. Personally, I stopped playing the game simply due to the lack of meaningful progression. The free battle pass is worthless, heck, even the paid one isn't worth it in my opinion. But then again, I'm not invested in the gameplay either. I think the character unlocks are tedious and the things you get along the way are pointless. But hey, some people like sprays and banners and such. Anyways, I think I've uh, said enough about this game. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you later.